Hi, welcome to a short video on the practical usage of Microsoft Power Query. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can show text entries in the data area of a pivot table. For other MS Excel solutions, you may visit my website ashishmathur.com. So here's a small data set with just two columns. I have serial numbers over here and I have grades over here. Now, I like to actually uh, convert this into a matrix-like data structure, in other words, a pivot table, where I'd like to show along the row labels my serial numbers. Along the column label should come over here, grade one, grade two, grade three. And in the body of that uh, matrix-like data structure, or in other words, the, in the value area section of a pivot table, I'd like to actually show these grades that you see down column B. Now, um, in a conventional pivot table, there's absolutely no way to show text entries in the data area of a pivot table. Uh, so much so, if you were to actually drag a column of text entries into the data area, you'll actually see the text entries convert into a count instead. So I, I don't want to summarize here. I do not want to count. I simply want to show these text entries as they are in the value area section of a pivot table. So first and foremost, I'll actually have to create a, a dummy column over here titled that as count. And I'll have to write a formula over here saying that I'd like to combine the grade with the number of times each entry in the serial number column appears. So I'll anchor the very first cell of the range in the counter function. And um, when I copy and paste that down, I'll actually Sorry, so I'll have to anchor the B dollar one over here as well. When I copy paste that down, you'll actually get to see um, the term grade appear with the number of times every code appears in column A. So I see a number two over here because from A2 to A11, the code 107629 appears twice over. And from A2 to A15, the grade 107629 appears thrice. Now, let's attempt to actually create a pivot table from this and see what happens. So if I create a conventional pivot and go to insert pivot table and click on OK, I drag my serial number here, I drag my grade here. So that's the kind of structure I'm looking at generating. And now if I attempt to uh, drag the, sorry, I'd like to show the count in the column labels and the grade here in the value area section. As you can see, Grade being a text entry cannot be shown in the value area section and therefore the pivot table automatically tells me the count of the grades. So that's not what I'm looking at and therefore this doesn't quite help me at all. Hence, this is what I actually do via Power Query. I select the three column data set. I head on to Power Query. Excel data from table there. Uh, it hasn't judged my uh, heading row correctly. It's pushed that one row below and it's showing me headings such as column one, two, and three. So if I right click here, there's an option that says used first row as headers. I select that there. And now, since I want the count column to appear as different columns in my pivot table, I, I start by selecting on that, clicking on that column. I go to transform and there's something over here that says pivot columns. I go to pivot columns use the names in the column count to create new columns. What do I want in the value column, which is the summarization section, the section I essentially want the grades to appear over there. And under advanced options, it's asking me what aggregate function do I want. The default discount all. I can simply go and say do not aggregate there. If I now click on OK, you'll actually see my serial numbers come the way they already were in my base data. Grade 1, 2, and 3 come as headers, which is the column the column section of a pivot table. And in the center section, since I chose not to aggregate, I actually get to see the grades as is. I can now simply go to Home, Close and Load, and that's how my data appears. And all this data is refreshable. If I carry out any change in the base data over here, all I need to do is right-click and a refresh. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.